Hello. In this video, I will be discussing the role of complex lipids in the human body. First of all, lipids are one of the four macromolecules of life. They are very important energy-rich molecules. We use them for thermoregulation, which keeps our bodies warm, long-term energy storage, and also as building blocks for membranes and many hormones. Complex lipids are lipids that are bonded to other types of molecules. The most common and important complex lipids are plasma lipoproteins. Since lipids are hydrophobic, which means water-fearing, they don't mix well with water, as you can see. Because of this, they rely highly on the plasma lipoproteins to aid them in their transport throughout the bloodstream. Lipoproteins help transport important lipids such as glycerides, fatty acids, and cholesterol. There are four major classes of human plasma lipoproteins. Chylomicrons carry dietary triglycerides from the intestine to other tissues. Very low density lipoproteins, or VL, DL for short, bind triglycerides synthesized in the liver and carry them to the adipose and other tissues for storage. Low density lipoproteins, or LDL for short, carry cholesterol to peripheral tissues and help regulate cholesterol levels in those tissues. They are riches in cholesterol, frequently carrying 40% of the plasma cholesterol. High density lipoproteins, or HDL for short, transport excess cholesterol from peripheral tissues to the liver. Each of the four major classes of human lipoproteins have a different density, as you can see. The two classes of plasma lipoproteins that have the most impact on the human body are HDLs and LDLs. In today's society, there is an increase in atherosclerosis, which is a heart condition where the walls of arteries thicken due to the accumulation of fatty materials, such as cholesterol and triglycerides. The consequences of atherosclerosis depend highly on which arteries are obstructed. If the arteries that supply the heart muscle are obstructed, that could lead to a heart attack. If the arteries that supply the brain are obstructed, that could lead to a stroke. This is how an artery looks when atherosclerosis develops and restricts the natural blood flow throughout the body. The majority of today's society is consuming foods high in saturated fats without taking into consideration the long-term effects it will have on the body. This kind of diet raises the production of LDLs, which over time may lead to atherosclerosis. Evidence does show, however, that high levels of HDL does reduce the risk of atherosclerosis. Recall that HDLs transport excess cholesterol to the liver, which is then synthesized and excreted through the intestine. This is why it's important that we, as a society, begin to change our diets. We need to substitute saturated fats for unsaturated fats. We need to begin cooking with vegetable oils instead of animal fats. Thanks for watching.